Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and we're going to be upcycling this container. This is actually a coffee can, and what I did is I used the Rust-Oleum metallic uh, finish, and I spray painted it to give it this color. I gave it two coats. I let it dry for two hours in between each coat. But the thing is, I could leave it like this and it'll be okay, or I can upcycle it into something else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a flower container for my mom, and it's going to be for her nightstand in her bedroom, just to bring some color into her room. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do with my container is hot glue my lace onto it to give it a little bit of texture. So the lace is very light. So I'm just going to use just a little bit of hot glue on there to start it off. And this lace is wide enough so it fits just perfectly. Just going to wrap it right around and already that gold looks beautiful coming through the can. So just that little bit adds something to it. And if you want, uh, you can measure beforehand. That way you have the right amount. And I am going to overlap just a little bit. And so that's what it looks like. And I like the fact that the ridges are showing through the lace. And so look how pretty that is. And I could stop there. However, I know my mom likes pearls. So of course, I had some pearls in my stash. And this is kind of an off-white color and it matches the lace. So I'm just going to measure this around. Right here. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to, I'm going to do more than one. And if you notice, you can hear crickets in the background because I am recording at night. Okay, so I am going to wrap this around. 
and I'm just going with that middle area there. That's where I'm going to work with. And I'm just going to kind of go around each place. And I started exactly where my lace ended, just right about there. Because I'm not really concerned about that back part. It's that front part that I want to really look good. And this is sticking really well on here. I'm just going to bring it all the way up to where it started. I got one bead too many, and that's okay. Cut that off. And look how pretty that looks. But I do want another row on there, so I'm going to do it again. And I'm just lining it up right next to the other string of beads. It really doesn't take a lot to make a big impact, but I am really loving this stuff right here. something that about just making something from the heart that really really is just a beautiful thing and this is a quick craft it doesn't take a long time to do it and look how pretty that looks So now what I'm going to do is remove this little hot glue strings. And if there's any areas that are still kind of sticking out, I'm going to use some of my art glitter glue and just put it along here, like this area right here is sticking out. The nice thing about the art glitter glue is that it dries clear. And this is, this lace is so good to work with. It's very, very light and it stretches also. So you can do large containers, small containers. You can do um, little candle holders, I think would be really nice. And so now to top this off, now that we're finished with our container, remember those Dollar Tree flowers that I got? I'm going to add these and I don't want them to be too short so I'm going to kind of play around with this a little bit and since I'm filling them with a bunch of these I don't need any floral foam or anything like that and that way if she wants she can change out the flowers
I think she's absolutely going to love this. I got one more because I want this to look really full. And look how gorgeous this looks. I am going to post pictures at the end so you can really, really see it. And the nice thing is that she, is that she can change out the flowers, which she probably won't, but I think she's going to really like these colors. And this is a nice winter white effect. It'll look beautiful on a vanity as well. So I will post pictures at the end. I really hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, one other thing is that you could, if you wanted, you could take individual beads, cut the beads, and add the beads all around just kind of glue them um, onto the flowers. So you that's a, just another option to give more, um, more embellishment to your creation. So I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you real soon. Bye.